taking a picture, it's a video. It's all a video. Okay. Oh, yeah. So let me know where we are and what's happening out here. Yo, we in Times Square right now, you know, we chilling. The homies out here, right. you know what's up. And what brought you out here? Just hanging out, we came out of school early. I want to be with my friends and all that. So, what's yeah. school like these days? Like, I, I graduated in 96. Right. So that kind of gives you an idea yeah. <laughs> how yeah. old I am. So what's school like, with, like, what's your days like? It's normal out here, you know, it's just regular, chilling. Yeah, it changed a lot though, you know? It changed, quarantine made people be who they really not. Talk and about like, it. Like, what do you mean people not like, being? You see, back then, for me, I was in seventh grade doing nothing what people are doing now. And it's like, it all happened through quarantine. People doing the little, all that dumb stuff. You know I me? Mean? So a lot of times, I got, you know, people that's from out of state, and they think New York is like wild right now because they're seeing the shootings. Uh -huh. They're seeing people getting caught up. They're seeing people getting pushed in front of trains. Yeah. Like, what's your New York experience? Honestly, bro, as long as you stay out the mix, don't fuck around with niggas, you're gonna be good, bro. You feel What's me? the mix, though? Like, like people mix. ain't gonna know what that means. The it's like, you really can't say too much about it, but it's like, you joining shit around, and you fucking around with the wrong crowd, because you, you know they got too much heat on them, and it's like, you fucking around with them is gonna get you where they where they about to be at, and everybody who do dumb shit like that is either dead or in jail. That's you a fact, me? bro. Yeah. Nah, they trying to be someone they not, feel me? Yeah. So they trying to prove something. Like they're trying to prove a point to everyone. They're like, oh, they did it, they did it, so I could do it, right? So they try to be something they not, and then they end up- But what's the point though? Something. Like, what's the point they trying to do? You know what it is? They want to do it for their own status, you feel me? They want to- They want to have their own record. Yeah, they want to look cool, trying to show off to the other man. That's, that's what's going on. So like, if somebody was to come from, come out of here from, from um, out of town, like, what do they got to do to survive? Nah, and they, like, they gonna be safe. I'm not for me to cut you off. But from, yeah, they're gonna survive. I mean, what they what else can they do? They come in from out of state. Just don't go, you feel me, certain areas, just chill around, dude. Just act like how you normally are. Dude. Like focus on your grades, focus on yourself. Yeah. Like, like, the like don't like that come. focus on like the negativity or other people like trying to be popular, this and that. It's not yeah, so yeah, the older people that come, just do what you do. Do what you came here for and like what I said, like have fun. It's like this place isn't bad. Like the only reason people have problems is because people talk, and that's what causes all this, all this, all this madness. Talk about what though? Like, like trying to like start things with each other, like fighting and like stupid shit. So, where are your interests lie? So, what are y'all doing? You know, for fun or anything like that? I mean, we just we go to school. You know, we hang out with the homies, just chilling. You know, eat. Yeah. All that regular stuff, smoke, everything. Yeah, some smoke, of us over smoke, here. Smoke again, smoke again. Smoke yeah, they again. smoke. I don't yeah. do none of that, but smoke. for me. So now that, like, when I was growing up, you would get bagged for just having a nickel. I don't know if that, if I even know what a nickel yeah, is. Yeah, but, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but like now it's it's normal. It's normal. So yeah, now it's, it's, it's legal. Like, what's what's changed from back in the days to now? Everybody, everybody's doing it just because they see everybody else doing it. They want to follow the crowd, yeah, and that, that's the worst part about this, type, this this city right here. You see somebody do it, now you want to do it. Oh, monkey right. see, monkey do. I got another question. It yeah. seems like everybody got bud these days. So like, how do you know what you're getting and what's the best way to buy it? Honestly, bro, just stay to like focus on whoever. Yeah. Feel me? Don't go buying around from everybody. Feel me? Just yeah. stick to your main, yeah, your main plug, bro. Yeah, yeah cause you could get laced real soon and uh, uh, real quick, and that, if anything, and that shit could just fuck up your whole brain. Uh, yeah, like, usually, I, like, usually I like oh, you could get laced with like really bad things like heroin yeah. and stuff like that. That's why you gotta really be careful who you pop from because they could really like hurt you. They could actually kill you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And when you wanna find like good weed that. You know, you gotta try here and there, like people maybe that you know, that know them, that are close to them. And that's really the way you get like good weed. So like if I'm walking down the street and somebody out here in Times Square or in oh, Washington okay. Square Park and they're like, yo, I got that kush, I got that fire, I got that sour. Nah, fuck that shit. Nah, nah, fuck that shit. You know? That's what I'm saying. Like, nah, that's niggas, your fate. If you know somebody's it? coming from out of town, they just like, I want to get some butt, like what's the best? They not. Man, if I was I like, like, if I was, I, out of town, bro, you better off going to, you feel me? Look, they got, I'm pretty sure they got dispensaries. Yeah, dispensaries, yeah, and dispensaries on 72nd, 42nd, yeah. 18th Street. Like, if you're really scared to take that risk, then just go to dispensaries. Yeah. But yeah, it may but be, like, really expensive. Or just don't do drugs at all. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. These days, dispensaries are everywhere. So. Yeah, and, and people like, people go broke from buying drugs. Yeah, that's, that's, what people, that's the thing that people don't understand. You're going to waste your last $10 on weed. 
instead, instead of, of food. food. Yeah, exactly. like food, something, clothes. Yeah, something to help you. So y'all all look good and drippy and y'all, I mean, like, what are y'all doing to stay out of trouble? And like, y'all seem to be wild chill. So like, yeah. what's got y'all, you know, on point? For me, I just try to like, try to focus on doing the good things. Just yeah. try to stay, like I said earlier, just stay out the mix, do you, you feel me? We gotta do good deeds, always, it's always better to do good deeds than bad. Yeah. How'd you learn that, the, the hard way or the easy way? Oh, I learned the hard way, You had to learn bro. it the hard way. I learned the you hard realize way. everybody who isn't, everybody isn't who they really are. Yeah. That's a fact, I learned You've the seen true way, colors. Man. So what is really? something... Hey, I don't mean that you can't put your trust in anybody these days, Facts. bro. Not even your own family, because it's like, everybody be stabbing you in your back. And it's just like, you just gotta avoid that, you know? That's a fact, bro. But you really can't avoid it because it's gonna happen either way. Yeah, you're gonna so, you're gonna meet friends. You're gonna realize that it could be a day one, or it could be niggas that's just there for to eat off you. Boy. And and you real you realize who your real friends is is when you realize like every day it's like same thing, but we we trying to do something different. Now nah, you know what it is. You know you got a real homie, bro. When you down, like when you pop, you down. You got no money. And we got you. The niggas yeah. around you, bro. When you know you got nothing to offer, you still got homies around you. That's what you know. You you got real niggas around you, bro. You feel me? Like I don't mind. I don't mind if my sons don't got money. If I got, let's say, ten dollars, fuck five, it. We five. go buy five five. We go to the store, get some sandwiches. And we get it. So what kind of sandwiches? We got get chicken colors, bro. Yeah. Chicken colors. Nah, nah. See, I don't know what he has to wait, man. Listen, bacon, and bacon and colors, We get a bacon egg and cheese, or we get some little hot, some chopped cheese, or barbecue grilled chicken. Right. Okay, so now we on it. So like, where are we gonna go to go get a real good chopped cheese? Listen, the hood projects, Project Delis, Valley. You can you cop you a little sandwich for five cash. You can get a hero, five cash. I'm telling you, don't go to none of these 70 second, 40 second stores. Yo, 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 you know what it is down here? Some real expensive down yeah. here. They gonna, you come to these stores, they gonna head crack you. They charge them like 150 for a little bottle of water. Ain't nobody paying that. You go to the hood, you get that yeah, shit for 50 a dollar. Cent. Sometimes 50 cents. Cent. You go to a 99 cent you store, you get a 50 cents. That's a fact, bro. So what's something that people don't understand about New York that they think they, they know about New York but they don't even know? They, what people don't understand is the internet isn't what it's really it really is. You you don't see everything you see on the internet isn't true. They believe that they believe those all those lies and how New York City is a good place or how New York City, they only show the good places in New York City. They don't show the bad parts. They don't show the parts that can mess you up like get you. Word, where you don't want to be. So like, I mean, we got your ass. So where, where are those places that, that people shouldn't be? Like, yo, skip over this. And I mean, it's respectfully. Like, no disrespect to these places, but nah, like, I, I mean, it's just like, how they gonna know if you're not gonna say it? Like, you gotta use your eyes. Like, you see people doing things you don't like. Just surround. Just get away from them. Like, I'm saying, like, go into projects. And try to get cool with people, knowing they have people that don't like them. That, that'll get you fucked up. Cause they gonna see you with them, and then they gonna be like, "Oh, that's what he's with them." And then there's your problem. Okay. And you just wanted to be their friend. So you know, and you were saying you know. What are you known for? <laughs> Nah, see, that's, yeah, that's, nah, that's too nah, much. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we yeah, don't want to okay, get indicted. Okay, 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 I'm gonna go. Okay, got you. Nah, so, yeah. Is this something that I missed? You know, before I like chop it? Oh. Uh, is nah, something you want to say or shout out or whoever? Like, nah, well, nah, I'm saying shout out for me, everybody. Yeah, everybody. shout out to my members right here. Yeah, man. Yeah. And free my heart, man. Free my son, be money, you heard? Right. So, shit, bro. What is, what's been the key to y'all friendship and brotherhood? Honestly, bro, you just. Nah, Let me ask you one more time. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah. What's been the key to y'all brotherhood? Honestly, bro, like I said before, when you down and you got your homies around you, you know you got your real homies around. Yeah, and it's loyalty. It's loyalty and love. It's all about loyalty, bro. There's no loyalty, bro. There's no love in that, bro. You show your true colors to your friends, and sometimes they don't even be your friend. They could be a real family. Like you don't even they. You call them your friend, but they really your family. Like, like all my niggas right here, like that could call that my family because we really hold it down for each other. That's a fact. And the last question is the question I ask everybody that's on the show. Uh-huh. Because this is the first video one that I did with y'all and I appreciate it. Right. Oh, yeah. Out of all the living you've been doing, what's the most important lesson you've learned so far? Nah, hey, nah. Hey, my fault. Can you repeat that? I ain't the most important lesson you've learned what's so far. What's the most important lesson you've learned so far? Yeah, that's Honestly, anybody. bro. The most important lesson I learned, man. Don't be trusting these people out here, you feel me? Don't I gotta, be a follower. Yeah, don't be a follower. Don't don't trust people, you feel me? I I got into a situation myself, man. I, I learned the hallway, bro. 
don't follow that nobody because you following other people is gonna lead you to shit that you don't want to be in. Right. Literally. All right, you ready? Yeah, go for it. All right. When you're on that grind, you're gonna lose a lot of people, but the ones that stick around, they're the real ones. They're the family. That's what you learn. It's always the one. I'm gonna need you to say that one more time because they All like right, busting. Now, when you're on that grind, you're gonna lose a lot of people you thought you was your friends, but the ones that stick, they're your family. And that, that's who you want to be around. Yeah. Another like, thing, bro, is take care of your health at an early age. You feel me? You yeah, gotta you really take be, care of yourself. You don't want to have messed up body parts. Yeah, bro. Like, eat good. Like, always treat yourself right and treat your others right. That's a fact, bro. Always take you care always of your go, health. You're going to always start at the yourself. bottom. You Everybody starts at the bottom. It's, you either going to have a crowd that builds up with you, or you're just going to have yourself. And yourself, when you bring, and also, <laughs> for the people that like girls and like to be around girls too much, don't chase the girls. The girls are gonna chase you when the money comes. Facts. The money's gonna come, and all they're gonna do is just attract you because they see you have money. That's what girls want nowadays. Oh, now look at what the fuck. He's a shiesty now. Real shiesty out here. And DTB, bro. DTB, bro. That's a fact. This is real shiesty, bro. Yeah. Facts. Life ain't the same no more.